There's a, a neuroscientist named Kent Berridge, and he did these experiments with mice. And the upshot of it is he draws a distinction between liking and wanting. So you might like having a beer once in a while or whatever, right? And the addict might like the feeling of having a beer or, or having heroin, right? But the, the addictive piece is not liking it, it's wanting it. And the wanting, mm. and there's a mismatch between what you want and what you get. That is why we talk about it as disease rather than like a bad choice. And and so people, you know, people have a hard time because we all have desires. We all do things that change our mood and so forth. And they have a hard time understanding that the difference between me, the normal person and the addict is that there's a fundamental glitch or breakdown or pathology in the structure of desire and the structure of relating to the addictive object that gives it an entire, makes it a totally different thing that is actually unimaginable or very, I wouldn't say unimaginable, yeah. but like very difficult for the non-addict to imagine.